Running a simple speed test between two different USB 3 drives can tell us a lot about real-world transfer speeds. On the left is a 7200 RPM drive in a USB 3 case connected to a USB 3 port on the computer. On the right is a USB 3 connected array configured to RAID 10. Now notice the differences in the read speeds. The RAID is faster, but how close is either of these to the USB 3 standard? USB 3 is capable of 5 gigabits per second or 640 megabytes per second. The drive on the left obtained 145 megabytes per second or 1.6 gigabits per second. The array achieved 261 megabytes or 2 gigabits per second. Neither came close to even half the USB 3 standard. This is why you should discount the marketing hype and run real-world tests to get an idea of how fast your system will move data. But why is this RAID slower than one would expect? Well, the devil is in the details. The RAID spec sheet fine print tells us a lot. Notice the speeds are based on the drive configuration. It's fast if you configure all four drives as one big or JBOD drive. Now, as soon as you configure any RAID format, the maximum data transfer speed is three gigabits per second. It's a hardware limitation with the RAID, but at $150 for a RAID, this is not a bad value. But like the old saying when you are racing cars, how much money do you have to spend and how fast do you want to go? Today, you should only consider buying the USB 3C or Thunderbolt interface drive.